Hello everyone and today I'm going to show you how to make a webhook uh, that connects to t-shirts uh, so you can buy a t-shirt within your game uh, and it will send a webhook to your discord server of your robux amount, um, the actual product and who bought the uh, said product. Now to begin with, uh, join the discord below if you want the free model. This is a free model you can get anytime you want. Go into the description. Join the Discord, scroll down to free models, hashtag free models, uh, and download the free model there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to open your file explorer, where it will be downloaded to, and you're going to drag and drop it into your game. Say, this is what I've dragged and dropped, this is the t-shirt webhook. As you can see, we've got notes, uh, but we don't need to say them, they're just pretty much credits to me and stuff, but you can delete that script, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you how to install it. It's a place into a workspace. Uh, and we don't want to ungroup that however we can, but let's not, because we don't need to do things that might break systems. Then we're going to um, put it into Service Script Service and press Control U. Or you can do the normal way of um, ungrouping. Now that you've got this here, that here, we need to do two things. First, we need to use the webhook URL. Now, a webhook URL. This is important. Now, as you can see, this is a proxy. You need a proxy within Discord to transfer data from Roblox to Discord, as Discord banned dedicated routing. The reason for this is because people made chat logs, and chat logs were sending like a million chats a second, and big games were causing issues so now you have to use a proxy the proxy I have given you so to get a webhook for your discord server you're gonna join you're gonna go into the discord uh, this is a quick sneak peek on, on what the system is gonna look like but we're gonna go to edit channel integrations webhooks create new webhook I'm gonna call this whatever you want um, I'm just gonna say uh, YouTube test and then we're going to copy URL and save changes. Now that we've done that, we can come back into the Discord, uh, the Roblox Studio, and we can paste it here. Now, there is something we need to do to this specifically. Before API and to HTTPS, we need to delete that and add this in. Now this will mean we can use the proxy without the Discord uh, direct link. Now that we've done that, all we need to do now is we need to go back into this bit, the place into workspace, we need to go to the click button, go to the script, and as you can see, this is your t-shirt script. Now this is important. You need to put whatever your t-shirt ID is for this tutorial. I'll be using someone else's t-shirt, because I don't own any t-shirts. This is their code, however, it is a blank sheet, so you're, it's just a zero when you first get it. As you can see, now all the scripts are set up, and we can delete this part. This can be put in anything, a file, a click button, etc. All this is looking for is script.parent, and then it's going to look for your prompt purchase. Now that we've done that, we need to go into game settings, and then we need to come into security. Depending on some factors I will explain in a minute. We need to turn HTTP on and then we also need to turn on allow third party sales. Now this is important if your game isn't linked to your t-shirt directly. So if you make a t-shirt, however it's not connected to say the game is on a group, you'll need to turn this on. If the game is connected to your profile and you yourself make the t-shirt, you will not need this on. However, I suggest having this on anyway as it's alright. If you install a lot of free models from the toolbox, I suggest turning this off as there is a lot of viruses that may occur during your developing. Anyway, now that we've done that, we can press save. And then we can press play. Once, that, once the studio has loaded, we can then look at what else we need to do. Now I'm just going to come over here. This is your purchase prompt. As you can see, by clicking it, I'm getting a purchase prompt. Now on Roblox Studio, 
it's a test purchase, your account will not be charged, so you can test it. However, in-game, it will charge you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy this product. As you can see, purchase complete, and I can press OK. Now that I've done all that, I can come to Discord, and as you can see, YouTube Test has sent me a message at 2300 uh, hours. Uh, it gives you the name, has purchased, and then the item they've purchased, gives the user ID, and Robux price. But what else it gives, is it gives you a URL to their profile. If I click yes to their profile, it loads a page to their profile. This is very, very helpful for when you're developing products. As you can see, it's loaded my profile as I'm the one who bought the project uh, product. If I wanted to buy the product again, I can buy it again. Uh, you need to press OK. Once you pressed OK, it will send another one. I think this is a brilliant uh, asset to have in your game, and I think you should uh, install it at any time. If you want to install it, remember it's in the free model section of the Discord server. Discord server is in the description below. Thank you, like the video, subscribe, and see you all later. Bye bye.